Nice cookie. These go on the top and bottom of the suspenders. Trace it, and then we cut it out and send it to the sewing machine. Just send it. I'm Damien's brother, Aubrey. Sew it up. And then I step on the bottom right here to hold it. Put it through. Evan came all the way from Canada to do this. Just to, just to build your suspenders. <laughs> yeah. That is that step. All right. Gotta put these together. Nice job. Action! Okay. Well, first, after we get the stuff, we have to smooth the material out and make sure the seams are on the sides to be ready for sewing. And once they're all smooth and the seams are on the side, you make sure that the elastic is the same sticking on both ends. That's pretty good. And then you do one line on each leg here just to secure the elastic on. So right down the middle here so we can put the top elastic on. We're gonna pin the monkey beaver label onto the suspender. So it's a combination between lining it up with the lines and also using your eye. It is a, uh, how we pin that on. It looks like that when we're done. Um, first, we're going to start with a box on this side here to really secure that elastic strap in here. Just a, a basic box. Like so. Um, once we get that stuff done, we will now attach the sternum strap. Go ahead and add the carabiner onto this bad boy. And tuck the four points of attachment straps onto this guy. And she is all ready to be boxed up and sent out. Looks nice, feels good. So here it is, completed, made in America. And we got the red ones. We got the red ones and the green ones and really this just signifies that this is for three points of attachment which is works well for the tree motion and so they'll work on a lot of different harnesses the monkey beavers come with four points of attachment and we'll show you how to hook those up in a minute but whether your belt is three or four points of attachment is what you need to know when you buy either the red or the green so now joe's going to show us how to hook them up and we'll start by hooking up 
the suspenders to the monkey beaver harness first. Yeah, there's actually no difference in the body of the suspender. It's the straps they come with dictate how you hook it up. We just sell the green one with three straps um, and the red one with four. Yeah, this. So if the... you wanted to put one of these you bought previously on a saddle that had three points of attachment, uh, it's not hard to do. Yeah, you just the difference just... in straps. And the yeah. difference is the, the one that works well for the tree motion or the three yeah. point attachment. The strap looks like this. Where it's, it's just done. a longer strap because the harness, uh, the suspender still has two buckles on it. So this will go through the single ring on the back of your saddle and back up to the buckles. Yeah, that's for the back. So if you have a ring, if you have a hook, if you have a loop on the back of the saddle, put it through it and you can hook it up. Yeah, because it's, it's that simple. So here's the monkey beaver and it has two two on the back instead of one yeah so four straps total for the monkey beaver harness which what you get when you buy the red so let's show them how to hook it up you have a ring strap has an eye with a little half twist in it put it down through the ring put it through the eye just a girth hitch pull that tight Right down over the ring. It's done. Nice and tidy. It doesn't come off. It doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't break. So we've done it here on the other side already. Yeah. And in the back. Yeah. This so any any harness that has rings on it, you can hook these two. Yeah. It's talking about these rings on the back of the yeah. harness. Another way is if you have transporters or whatever other brand of gear hook you have you can girth hitch these right to the top if you don't have hooks on your harness and it actually works really well because it directly supports your load right the chainsaw right? Yeah. whatever weight you have in there if you have one of these on each side if you had a harness that didn't have hooks or uh rings for suspenders or any other way to hook something up here a pair of transporters or vaults or carrot tools you put them right on that and uh, yeah so we this harness comes with a ring right here a little forward yeah of where your saw hook would go and so we use it it's made that way it's yeah. made for this however he's talking about alternative ways to hook up uh monkey beaver suspenders to a different harness and we have another harness here that will show you how to hook up you can be a little bit resourceful yeah, we had what a couple kind of people is this? asking. This is a Petzl Sequoia, I think. I don't know a ton about these. I think this is the SRT version. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It has the card on it that says right here. Okay. Sequoia SRT. So this has a buckle in the back. Uh, it's kind of a flat buckle. And it's a, like a two inch or inch and three quarter wide buckle. We just girth hitched. These two, two right. Eight. So they would They're buy a there. four. It has another strap. slot that's one inch. If you had the single one, you could probably slide it right through there. Yeah. Um, on this side, there's a slot here for a tool, for like a care tool or something. And I just girth hitched it, put it right down through there. All right. It's attached yeah. there. Or if you had a care tool there, you can hook it right to the top of the care tool. Mm hmm. Um, this side, I just girth hitched it right to this little gear loop here. Like I said, it's not, uh, it's not cut and dry where they go. It's where they, no, where you want to put them. No, and suspenders, they're not, the suspenders are not life support. They're made yeah, these are to, just for, for tool help, support. To hold your belt up and they give you a tending point mm -hmm. for, uh, your climbing device if you want. Yeah, they're um, bomb tough and they'll save your back, but they're not meant to be a... Yeah. fall arrest type thing that's what the harness is yep so that covers that this is uh the petal sequoia again and uh four straps works pretty good all right what's it look like when it's all set up these uh are pretty through the top slot down through the bottom one it's like a motorcycle helmet it's like that
you don't know about a motorcycle helmet, then you'll have to get a motorcycle. Yeah. There it is. There's the monkey BB harness with spinner attached. Yep. Um, they come with the straps, rock exotica carabiner, accessory carabiner. Uh, there's one little trick to these here. This end where it's sewn down. Um, you can see the eye here. This is the small end and this is the open end. Um, if you, it just depends how they got made. But if you have the big end on the same side as the end here, when you girth hitch it, that won't get hung up. It'll, it'll go through there because it'll be on the inside. Yeah. When you're attaching it. So, yeah, you won't be fighting the lip. Little tip, um, maybe I can show you. When you go to tighten it up, that'll get caught mm -hmm. right there. And it'll be hard to get that down over it. But if you're the other way, it'll slide right down over it and snug up nice and tight. Yeah, that's a good little tip. Okay, and we mentioned to him something about the tool belt guys, like the contractors. Oh yeah. Um, if you got a tool belt, uh, these will go on those just as easy if they have an attachment for suspenders. Yeah. Which I think they pretty much all do. So we've sold a few of them to uh, construction guys, and they like them. Yeah. So you can support all your tape measure and square and hammer and nails and screws yep. and all that, too, if, if you want. This is a suspender for a belt. Yep. Work belt. So that about does it. We have suspenders available on monkeybeaver.com right now. Both four point and three point attachment suspenders. And we were back ordered forever and ever, but our methods have improved at cranking them out. More people, more machines. And so now we're finally ready to say, you can go there now and buy a pair if you need to. And we have always kind of kept it quiet when we had some. We just still said we were out of stock because we didn't want to run out in three seconds. We have a little bit of a backlog now. See? It's probably enough for a little bit of a rush on these. So thanks for watching. See you next time. We'll have more updates about things that we're doing as time progresses. Monkey.